Hello my model building chums and welcome back to the Yorkshire Modeler. We are now on to issue 15 of the Hachette Battleship Bismarck. So with issue 15 we get the next section of the um, hull which we attach to the part that we received this one here that we received a couple of weeks ago um, and then we do the other 10 um, whoa, other ten uh, breakwater supports as well so that's just exactly the same as we did again a couple of weeks ago so it's nice and simple to be honest this week um, stay there there we go so we've got the whole section which fits in that way around like that to the piece we got last time, a couple of times ago, and then we've got the uh, breakwater supports here. Now I've already cut the breakwater um, supports that go into the hull itself off the sprue. That's quite simple. Um, you just clip them off and then just file them down. And then these go in here, in, these get hinged into these. But what I'm gonna do this time, I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I'm gonna glue these onto the deck first, let the glue dry, and then attach these onto there so hopefully they won't snap because I did have an issue last time where one of these um, one of these little tiny hinge supports here um, snapped while I was putting them all together so I'm going to glue these 10 onto the bow and then I'm going to put these in once that super glue is dried but first we've got these two bits to build so We've got the part that we've received this week, which is 15.1, um, the lower hull section, and then the part received in issue 13, which is the keel um, section. And all you do is, on the part we received this week, there's this little tab. Oh, sorry. Turn that light around a little bit, actually. Hopefully it doesn't blind everybody. Um, so you've got these little, like a little tab there and a little tab there. So the wider of the two goes into the little groove just there. Okay, so that just goes in like that. And that should hopefully line up. Can I get it to fit? Is it the other side? Ah, it's the other side. There we go. So. So you've got the triangular piece there. The piece that we've received this week goes on to this side of the triangular piece. So it's the port side. It's the port side, isn't it? Yes. And we get two. Uh, we get three uh, PM screws this week. So two to attach it, and then one spare. So what I'll do is turn this light off. Hopefully, you'll be able to see this with just the normal daylight. I'll zoom you in again a little bit. So with that all lined up, like that, all you do is screw onto your screwdriver and then pop the screw in there and then just tighten it up. like that one, that, and then you get another one of these PB screws, and we just do exactly the same thing on this one. And just screw in the other side, there we go. So that's both of those screwed in. So this part of the keel is now starting to take shape. Let me zoom you back out again. So this is all starting to take shape now. Um, PM. PM. So I'll pop this in my little PM screw pot. And that's that bit all done. So what I'll do, I'll just bring the bow section in just so you can see. So this bit is going to go into there. There's a little um, 
nub just there on the thinner end of the bow and that just goes into the little groove just there so that will clip into there like that that clips in there so you can kind of see the shape started to come along this thing's going to be massive isn't it I'm going to need more shelf space anyway that's the bow bit done now I'll just bring the deck back in so what we're doing now is we're attaching the 10 brake water supports all around here so what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to show you me doing it because I know last time I didn't um, so I'm actually going to just get me a tub of super glue and get some of the thicker super glue for this one. So I generally tend to use a couple of different um, types and thicknesses of super glue just because it's I find it easier. Sometimes you need the um, the thin stuff so you get the capillary action, which is where if you've got two surfaces that are like that, they're not quite touching, the super glue will run straight down the gap in the middle so it'll hold them together. Sometimes you need the thick stuff. If it's like a, a join that's pretty much solid, the thick stuff will hold it together quite nicely. So I'm going to zoom you in again for this little bit. So sorry if the quality of the video drops. Move that forward. There we go. So I'm going to put my light back on for this bit, just so you guys can see a little bit better what I'm doing here. So a pair of tweezers with one of the hinge bracket supports in. And by the instructions, you start in the center. So leaving off, move that barrel out of the way, leading off from there and going round that way to the other side. So all around the breakwaters, all up this side, down to here. There, lovely. So all I do is drop a super glue in the hole. Hopefully that's enough, lovely. And then just get this all lined up and then pop that in there. And then just with the back of me um, tweezers, seat it into the hole properly. And that one's in. So next one, exactly the same. Take another one of these hinged supports. D drop a super glue into the hole. Maybe a little bit more because I don't think there's enough in the hole there. There we go. And then, oops, sorry if that was out of camera. And then excuse me fingers. And then just try and get that in there, seat it all the way down. So that one's in there as well. Now I'll attach the other eight and then I'll show you what it looks like. So all of the hinge parts have been attached onto there now, onto the deck. So we just need to attach the um, hinged parts on next. Um, now this, again, I'll just zoom you in. About there. So this bit, should hopefully be easy. Although famous last words and all that. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna make sure I've got the 
Let me just turn that light a bit away. There we go. So, just making sure that you've got, there's like a little, um, like a horseshoe, camera won't pick it up, um, but there's like a tiny little horseshoe, that's the bit that goes into the plastic part. And all you do, I'm really hoping this works, is hit some support. Just push it in. That's one in. So zoom this out a little bit so you can see what I'm doing again. So we get the little plastic part, the coppered, not coppered, chromed plastic. And then all you do is, I really hope you can see this, you line it up into the right bit. Then just very gently push, and it will just it should just like click into place. And you can see that second one is on there as well. Now, this way isn't necessarily as easy. As doing it the other way because you have got um, other plant on deck details already on the kit but it does give you the added support of uh, the deck underneath the actual hinge bits so it's kind of like you're not having to worry about if there's enough support under them is anything gonna snap Nearly. There we go. Yeah, I wish I'd have done it this way first time. This is a lot easier. This is loads easier. If you're watching this video before you've done the other side, try it this way. It seems to be a lot easier and it looks like, hopefully, there's less likelihood of the um, chromed uh, plastic parts breaking because these all seem to be going in absolutely perfectly. Uh, same as last time. With this bit, you don't get any extra parts, so really, really, really take care when you're attaching them. That's the right one. Um, what I've done with mine is I've just got them off to the side here. Um, this one's going to be interesting. There you go. And all I'm doing with this, move that in a little bit more, is just trying my best to line everything up and then just using my thumb just to press the part in and then just flatten it off onto the, uh, onto the, Hinge support, there we go. There we go, they're all on. That was a lot easier than the way I did it on that side. That was a hell of a lot easier than the way I did it before. So right, 
that's all the breakwater support has done then. Right, so that's issue 15 completed then. So we've got the um, all the breakwater supports up on that first breakwater um, and we've got the next section of the hull slash keel completed as well. Uh, almost completed, we've got one more piece to come up here. Hopefully that'll be the next couple of weeks. I think two weeks from now we should have that part that we can then attach to, um, hopefully start getting ready to attach to what we've already got. Um, with issue 16, stay on there, with issue 16 we get the motor for the elevation of the forward gun. So hopefully soon, really, really hoping we'll get an electric test soon so we can actually test and make sure everything's working. Um, I know the um, anchors work because I've checked the electrics on them, but the electrics for the gun that we've done so far, the, the connectors aren't the right size for what we've already got on the um, like the... The battery pack so it's the connectors won't fit into the, that little part there so hopefully soon we'll have um, an electric test um, on everything we've done on the Bismarck. Um, issue 16 will be up next Thursday morning at 8 o'clock uh, British time so stay tuned for that one but until next week guys remember to like share and subscribe to the channel and um, comment down below um, if you've got any questions or if you want to raise anything, um, I know we've got quite a few people now that are starting to comment on the video. So you guys are brilliant. Um, you're fantastic. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for keeping me on the ball. Um, and we will see you next Thursday for issue 16 of Battleship Bismarck. Happy modelling, guys.